top of the day to you. Today we're going to teach you how to put a microwave in when you don't have a cabinet. Sometimes you have circumstances where your cabinet in an older house or an older apartment, your cabinet is too tall for a microwave to go in there. So you take the microwave out and some of them you can actually cut the, the cabinet down and redo your doors of course. But on this circumstance here, in order to get the microwave in there, you have to have at least 21 inches underneath the cat or microwave to the top of the stove, right? So 21 plus 16, that leaves, that leaves me with six inches at the top of the cabinet. So I'm going to show you what we're going to do. So on a microwave, you have to have your wall mount, which goes against the wall that the microwave will hooks onto, and then you tip it up, tip it up. And then you have the two screws that go through the cabinet into the microwave, correct? Almost every single one of them are like that, all of them. So what we have to do is we have to figure out a way to mount the top. How are you going to keep them? I'll show you. So what you have to do is you have to take a piece of angle iron. This is pretty thin stuff. It's not a high end. It's, it's just a basic Lowe's stock, right? And what we have to do is we have to cut it down to go, you know, in the hole. So what I'll do is I will measure this off and then I'll use a cutoff. This is a little Milwaukee cutoff. Um, I use this all the time. Anyways, you can use a grinder with a cutoff blade. Just cut it to fit the length. Okay, so the next thing you want to do is you want to find your studs in the wall. So I got a little inexpensive stud finder, a little pencil. I'm going to find some studs real quick. So once you're able to take a stud finder, locate your studs in the wall, just give them a good mark so you know where they're at. I got one right here and one about right here, which transfers up. No big deal. So what we need to do now is put our, our mount for the microwave so that, you know, that's what part it mounts to. No, not all microwaves are the same. Some of them have a full back that mounts on the wall. So most of them come with this little tray. So what you need to do is you find your height where it's going to be. So I know my, mine's going to be about right there. And then I put a level on it and we mount this to the wall real quick. install this is called a cut-in box um, you just put it on the wall draw around it and these little screws here flip up tabs and the tabs go back and it catches the drywall so you don't have to have a stud you can put one of these anywhere I'll show you how I'm gonna do this one because I don't <clears throat> I do not want it real high I definitely want it above my microwave so I'm gonna put it, and I know there's no stud right in this area, so I'm gonna put it right about here. I'll draw that out, draw around it. Make sure it's good and clear. Okay, so now I'll, I'll cut that out with a sawzall. Okay, so the problem I ran into is why my stud finder wasn't working. The vent, the old metal vent, it's in this wall right here, so I can't go there. Can't go there. Can't go over here. So I have to go here, right? Right here is where the, the power feed for the stove is. I don't build them, bro. So this is uh, what I'm going to do. It's called an open-end box. I, I use them all the time for cable, right? So what I'm going to have to do on this is I'm actually going to have to cut the back of this, this box off so that my wire will feed through there because the main leg, you can see it, See that wire right there? Hmm. That's the main leg for the for the stove. So what I have to do is make it so that the wire will feed through there. There's no back on it, you know. Sometimes you gotta do what you gotta do, man. So what I did, just took the little cutoff wheel, just cut the back off. It's still gonna work. It'll slide right in the hole. Let me get my tabs over out of the way. Mm -hmm. I get the tabs up. All right, so this will work. Just fine. I just need to open that hole just a hair. There's 
another reason why uh, you never want to just jab a, j a drywall or a, a uh, sawzall in the wall. <laughs> you don't know how many times, man, I've done that and find electrical main lines back in there. So anyways, so now I've got this prepped. This is ready to go. Now I need to feed this wire up there. So now that I've got my wire into my cutout box, cut out, you know what I mean? Now that I've got it in there, that's all out of the way now. Now my microwave can go back. But before I can bring the microwave over and set it up here, I need to go ahead and put my steel rod, my angle iron, I need to put it in here. Now your height of your microwave is it mine's at 21 inches, no, 16 inches. So it really doesn't matter. As long as I get this mounted level, it's going to be behind the microwave for the most part. So for the most part, because I don't have a bunch of studs in that wall because of that vent, right? So what I'm going to do is I'm going to drill a hole on each end, one here, one down here, and that will be my anchor points. Now I'll probably drill one right in the middle, uh, off to the left just a little bit. Now, you guys probably never have this problem, but uh, at least I'll have a center point that's anchored to the wall. I really don't need to do that because I'll be hitting a stud on this end and a stud on this end. This is angle iron. It's not going to bend. So now that I got my holes drilled out, it depends on what you want to do. You know, the screws, up, this is plenty big and this little hole is plenty big enough for the screws. So what I'll do now is I'll set this up here, put my level on it. I go where my, uh, the top of the microwave is supposed to be. I can go the same height. I'll probably go just a hair bit higher. That way I know my microwave is going to miss. There's that one. And then we get this one over here. Level this out. All righty. There we go. She anchored. Pretty good. Pretty good. So I think I'll go. I, I'm really pretty confident. I think I'll uh, go with that right now. So what we need to do now is I'll put that in a little deeper. There we go. Okay. So my microwave, my upper bracket is up. Okay. So now. I need to measure uh, the top of the microwave. So this is the top of the microwave. So from the wall to the center of the hole, uh, it looks like we're going to be about 10 and a quarter. Okay, so if I, I go ahead and cut me a, a piece of flat stock at, say, 11 inches, that will give me plenty of room. So now that I got my stock cut, I know I got the angle iron, right? It's coming over this way. So I have to drill, be able to drill a hole, a hole here in this step middle, and then down here at the end. So I'll, I'll come out, i come out um, about like that, and I'll drill a hole here big enough for this screw. So this is the rod that's used to go through the cabinet into the top of the microwave, just like that. So what we have to do is we have to drill a hole, drill a hole in this metal for this screw to go through and at this end or to mount it to the angle iron. Okay, so once you get your holes drilled, um, you can pre you can test it out. You can see what I've done. You know, this screw here, that, that's just the way they are. There, there are a lot of flex room, okay? And then you got your back mount, and this is going to get screwed into the angle iron. On that's on the wall. So what I'm doing is it's it's setting on the flat or on the mount for the wall, and then the top this is going to pin it to the wall so that it can't fall forward. That's the whole concept. Okay, so now that you've got your flat stock in, the screw set in place, it's just sitting there. Um, you want to kind of straighten them up as best you can. I mean, you don't have to get anal with the straightener. But you want to measure from the tip of this to that hole. Same thing over here. You want to measure it, straighten it up, measure it, okay? And then you want to transfer your measurements to your stock or to your angle iron up here. 
You want to transfer those measurements and then drill a hole. Pre-drill your holes for your screws to go through. Now that I've transferred my measurements from this side out, inch and a half, inch and a quarter, this side's three inches. You don't have to be hardcore precise about this because that rod's got some flex room. You've got a little wiggle room, so don't don't sweat about being precise, okay? If you're really worried about being precise, you can go ahead and do it the hard way, which is pre-mount, push everything back, and drill a hole through the stock plus into the angle mark. Too hard. I'm trying to make it simplified, okay? So now that I've got my marks, I'm going to go ahead and drill the holes. Simple. Let me get my drill bit. Oh, it's right here. This is uh, not a big deal. I marked it on the bottom. It doesn't really matter which way you go at it. But let me get a bucket. I don't want that in my eyeball. That's about right. And then my three inch right here. Like I said, this is not precise. You know, something that's going to be, it's not an engine block, you know, not a big deal. Now what we'll do is I'll bring in the microwave, pre-hang, set it up there, and we'll be good to go. Let me see if I can, I won't try to put you up on top of the cabinet so you can see what I'm doing. Ooh, that's close. <laughs> so you bring the microwave in. Get it on your wall mount. It's got a little lip that catches. Not a big deal. Once you get in there, you take your uh, little finger dabbers, move them over where it needs to be. One guy is kind of pain in the butt, but I should be able to get it over. Don't lose your screw. I already know I gotta have to adjust this because my microwave is slightly tipped forward, so I need to adjust the front screws. Because you got a little wobble, you know, but you don't want that much wobble. So I need to take it back. I'll take the tab off. Take this off and then and drill another hole back about about a half an inch or so. That should take care of it. But always that good time, man. Too high. There we go. Now we got those in. Push it back. Bring your arms back out. Pinching my pinchers. Ooh, where's my screws? Oh. Anyway, put the screws down in there. There we go. Find my other screw real quick. There it is on the floor, like always. Then, like I said, I, I, what I did was I took it back. That's about a quarter of an inch off, three quarters of an inch. All right, that. Now my screws are in. We're just going to bang them down a little further. Make sure we're nice and tight. Just like so. We are good, bro. <coughs> I'm a little off, but not too bad. Not bad at all. Nice and tight. She ain't moving, brother. She ain't moving at all. So in a nutshell, that's how you do it. Well, you got your, get your mount to the wall. Microwave, no problem. That's how you do it. Of course, what you'll have to do is you'll have, on my circumstances, what I'll have to do is I'll have to cut a one by and mount it up there so that uh, it the, the, the cabinet looks like it's part of the cabinet. 
So that's what I got to do on this one, man. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you got some info out of that. So if you're in circumstances such as this where you need to put a microwave where you'd like to have a microwave in, but the cabinet is too big or too little, whatever, that's the easiest way to do it. Well, that's basically the only way you're going to do it. But then above the microwave now on that spot, you'll have to run a one by across there. Or you can just paint the wall, put an outlet cover on it, because I still got to do the outlet. But then you, you just paint the wall. You can uh, put a shelf up there if you want to. So you can do anything you want with it. But on this circumstances, I'll run a one by across the face of that and uh, cap it off, make it look like it's a regular cabinet. That's how you do it. So if you're doing this on your house or apartment or whatever, most of the time you're going to have a cabinet on the right, cabinet on the left of your stove, right? And then your cabinet above, you have to take it out in order to do this. My problem is, I'll show you, is that my microwave doesn't have a cabinet there. Why is that a problem? Because the freaking microwave door won't open. So I just talked to the boss about it, and I told her the only thing I can do is open that wall up. Open the wall up and probably have to build a small cabinet to be recessed. It's going to be a real tiny little thing, but um, so the microwave door can open. This went from a 30 minute fix to an hour. But now I got to open it up. There's wires on the other side of that wall. I'll show you. Okay. I got a three box. So let's get this opened up and see what happens. Well, we got it all cut up. The wires, there was a stud there. I cut the stud out real slowly. Got the wires off of the, the stud and slid the wires over. So now what I'll do is I'll build a box. I'll build a box to go in there and push it back. That way the microwave will open up. Sometimes you got to do what you got to do, man. That's what the boss said, by the way. So you do good enough, man. You won't have any issues on the other side. Easy peasy, bro. Yeah, that's gonna be a pain in the butt. We'll have to after lunch. After lunch, I will uh we'll build a box and go on the wall so microwave door open. The reason why I cut it down slow is that way I can put a couple uh, a small shelves in there and they can use that for like a spice rack. Um well that'll work. No problem. Just build a box, recess it in the wall. And uh, we're good to go. Well, made me a little box to go on the wall. This is like that funky fiber material. It's like a fiberglass. This is some really thin, like half inch one buys. It's already pre-primed, so I don't have to worry about it. So now we'll go ahead and get the microwave back in so we can trim it out um, and go from there. Now we got the power hooked up, surface lights on. Microwave's on, go, cool. and the microwave opens up all the way. Go cool beans, man. What I'll do now is I'll run me a little bit of piece of trim around here. All trimmed out, made it pretty. Now all I gotta do is just caulk, do a little caulk and a little paint, little touch-ups, nothing major, but that's uh, that's how we do. I got a little hole there I gotta patch. And kinda clean up the top a little bit. So now I'll work on running that one by across the top. Okay, so we got it all installed. We got the one by across the top. We got the cubby in. Microwave's working. All is golden, man. That's how you're going to do what they got to do. We work in. I love these guys, man. We got nice products. Anyways, I hope this video has been helpful to you uh, on how to install a microwave where the cabinet is too tall, too short, too wide, whatever. Um, I hope this video has been helpful to you. Uh, shout out, I appreciate my uh, 524 subscribers now. Woohoo! Thanks a lot, guys. If you don't like the video, put it in the comments. If you like the video, put it in the comments. Peace out, man. Until next time, we working.